Hey, this is Ernie with that hashtag show and welcome to my manga ventures. So for my first video ever, I am going to be bringing you my new video, which is called Now Read the Manga. Basically, I'm going to do my very best to convince you that the manga is way better than the anime. The anime is awesome, you love seeing all the fights and the talking and the drama, but the manga is just so much better because of the art, the story behind it, and also you don't miss out on all the juicy plot points. So let's get started with the first one, which is One Punch Man. So the anime was amazing. It was everybody's favorite. It was the most popular ones at the cons, but it was only 12 episodes long. And that ended in chapter 50. Right now the manga is actually at 104, so you're missing out on a lot. So if you don't wanna wait for season two, might as well just pick up the manga because right after the fight with Boros, where the anime ends, well, so much more happens after that. You actually get, you start building up the plot points that I feel like the first few 50 chapters didn't have at all. It was just about him being strong as hell. Well, after that, you start learning more about the other heroes. You learn the secret behind King, the world's strongest man. You find out why he's the world's strongest man. And also you find out about all the other S class members and the other heroes who are also ranked lower than S. And honestly, there's some heroes out there that I absolutely find so much more interesting than One Punch Man. And what I love about the most about the manga is just that art style is absolutely amazing. Yeah, every once in a while, you get a little gift of color pages and you gotta check this part out. This part right here is, it's color pages. It's like a flip book. It's like the whole poster from Marvel. Just, you can, if you had the actual physical book, you can flip through it and it's, it's amazing. And if that doesn't convince you, you gotta check out this one too. It's just spanning out to the, the whole entire ship. And if you remember from the actual anime, well, this is the actual manga. It looks so much better and realistic too. And there's a whole entire story behind that map and that maze. So, I mean, if that doesn't convince you, I mean, you don't wanna wait for season two, right? That's, there's no announcement whatsoever about it. So might as well just pick up the manga and read it and get ahead of the game before the actual seasons come out. And then when the actual season comes out, guess what? You can know what's going on and actually just enjoy what's going on and see the fights physically happening. But also apart from that, there's another manga, which is actually the original, because this one is just a spinoff. The anime is just a spinoff because the original one is done by the artist and the writer. And it's basically his sketch and rough drafts of where the story's going. And that's so much more ahead of everything else. So you can really jump far again from the story and find out who Saitama is, how he got his powers, who all the heroes are, and what's actually gonna be happening and where the story is going. So I mean, if that doesn't convince you, then, well, I don't know what else. Let me know in the comments below what you think. So I did my absolute best to try to convince you to read the manga. The art's great, and if that just doesn't convince you at all, then, you know, just wait for the season two. I heard it's supposed to be 24 episodes long this time, but again, rumors, speculations, I mean, it's supposed to be announced in September. It might come out in October or November, but it's just rumors. I mean, if you wanna wait for season two, go for it. I mean, if you don't wanna find out what Genos is going after, why he's a cyborg, go ahead, just wait for season two, whatever. Well, let me know what you guys thought about this video or One Punch Man, and please subscribe for everything trending in geek pop culture.